Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any or all help the channel grow, and they help get it out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, we were... What did we do? We sorted all the silicon out, and then I think we were over working on the antimatter. Now, I have done a little bit of work off-camera, um, and I don't mind doing it because it is work you've seen before. Because effectively, what I all I've done off camera is just lay down a load more uh, of the repeating patterns that we've all seen uh, for the basically blueprints that we've got. So last episode, I think we laid down five of the strange matter ones, uh, and I've laid down the other five as well. And now we are producing them although we are shy on deuterium which is being produced here oh wow that's out of hydrogen that's not what i expected to run into today be out of hydrogen okay fine um sure okay we'll have to up our hydrogen production then which feels weird to say um but effectively, I laid that down to get that all off and going. And then if I fly back to where I begun the episode, which, you know, if I'd done a bit more forward planning, I could have sorted out. I've laid down, like I say, a few more of the um, blueprints we've got for the constructors. Okay. Now, what I've done is I've basically laid down the prerequisites, prerequisites for what I want to get done today. So we are making our... What's this? Plane filters. We're making the quantum chips. So they're now just wearing away. We are also making... What else did I do? Tier 2 belts are done. They're now up and running. What's this? That's the Casimir crystals. We got those. Uh, let's have a look. Because I think I've got everything set up so that I can start dropping down. That's it. That was it. Because we're going to need the strange matter and these diamonds. So we can get... Oh! Although we're making diamonds, we're not mass producing diamonds. Okay. Alright, we'll need to get one of those set up. So, what I've got is I've got the blueprint set up. So we need the two-lane assembler. Uh, that's not going to fit there. Will fit here though. No, because one of them's in the lava field. There we go. So we'll pop that there. Uh, and we'll just start hooking up some of the. There we go. Get that all down. And then, yeah, diamond. Not titanium crystals, diamonds. Okay. And they are made in a smelting facility. Okay, so we'll need to have a smelting array for those. That's not too bad, because I think that's actually going to give us a way of using up a lot of the... Um, uh, energetic graphite that we have been producing. So, how many... We've got 28 of those on me. What does the smelting array blueprint need? Uh, 30. Okay, so I'd need to make two. Can I produce two? No, because I'm missing iron. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. And iron veins over there. We'll just grab some of these. Temporarily. All right, let's mine these. All right, there's one. And there's two. Cool, so now we can get that blueprint down as well. It does mean I might need to do a little bit of recalculating because I grabbed all the resources I needed to get, basically, this constructed, so our gravity lens, or whatever it's called, graviton lens, yeah, and then for the um, green science, which I'm going to be mass producing like this, because although we can make warpers out of these graviton lenses, what I want to do is I want to make them out of green science, because that is a much more efficient way of doing them, and we're going to be able to produce warpers fast. So I want to mass produce green science with this, so I've got the array for it. Um, but it does then mean... Go on then, get that. There we go, there's power done. Um, it does mean that we can 
Yeah, I might need to make sure I've got all of the other bits and pieces that I need, because I didn't anticipate needing the smelter array, but yeah, we're not mass producing diamonds, but I have got a few places that are all stuffed up because they're trying to make the, um, what's it called? Uh, the energetic graphite. So that's probably a good thing we're going to be able to use some of that up. Put these here. Uh, so it's that and the diamonds. And those are all going to be on supply. But yeah, that's not... F oh, we are producing diamonds. Okay, I didn't think we were. Oh, score. Okay, at least we've got use for those diamonds now. Uh, okay. That's fine then. So, let's then lay down our other two-lane assembler. Because like I say, I brought the stuff I needed for two. That's going to be too close. Am I going to be able to sneak it in there? I am. Lovely. And this one we'll have making our green signs. Uh, which is... Hang on. Oh, no, hang on. Yeah, I forgot. That's absolutely not how we do that, is it? Uh, right, X. Uh, I basically need to clear these. Completely forgot green science is not made in those. Right, they are made in these, and we've only got eight of these, and the widths are all wrong. Of course they are. Okay. Last. Okay. Uh, fine. So, if we... Uh, let's clear those chains. And then we'll clear that chain, and that chain. Probably need to take a couple of those out as well for room. And then, okay. Could start like that. And then in theory, what I can do is if I need to, yeah, I don't need any of this nonsense. Mm, do want that. So we'll take those away. Because we can stack these if we need to make them higher. So that's not a problem at all. Right, and then... You can go in there like that. Okay. Right, so you're producing the green. Uh, put those in there like so. Oh, where's that run out? Oh, Baycrux 1. Okay, so that's a mineral thing run out from here. That really means we would need the ability to start getting off uh, and out into different systems so that we don't get trapped here. It's really weird. When you first start, your obsession is to get off world so you don't get trapped on world. Now I'm sitting here and I'm going, I need to get out of system so I don't get trapped out system. Which is, yeah. Oh, it's gonna, okay, that's not what I huh, we get because those can stack, I didn't expect it to do that. Right, okay, and then let's actually just put that one there so that we've got all of those down. Uh, you guys can get your ships, so you can start collecting things. Now, interestingly, it would appear we don't have any of that set up. So, uh, we need the quantum chips and... Where are they? The graviton lenses. There we go. So, that's under our demand. Cool. So, the chips are on the way. That's good to see. Why do we not have... Oh, we have got those. Ah, I haven't told this is that it's outputting these, so you are going to be outputting these lenses. Lovely. 
Uh, and you are going to be outputting green science. There we go. So we should, hopefully. Oh. If I can get the power structure set up right. Alright, put those there. Take that away. That needs to be left in as a link. You're dead, you don't need to come anywhere. Right, okay. So we're hopefully now going to be making, in a moment. Okay. I feel like we're going to need to make more of these iron ingots. Okay. Cool. Let's just pop over here. We'll grab a load of those. There's our first one. Insufficient materials. Awesome. So we have that underway, which is excellent. That's great news. Uh, and we've only got the stuff to make one more, so we'll pop that there for the moment, and then we'll have to try and get a load more under production. But they are being made. Which is great news because each one of these is for turns into like eight warpers. Now, the plan I have for this is we need to go to Baycrux 2 where we've got our science uh, academy. Right, okay. Let's head over in this direction and then we could start trying to use warpers. But we're going to need to bring in the green science. And I want to bring that in. And I'm going to produce the warpers on Baycrux 2. Uh, is the plan. And I don't need... I don't think I need huge numbers of them. I mean, I might. Who's ended? Right, okay. Like so, that. now we need to get to the science academy. Which, from memory, is on one of the poles. Or is it? It's over that way. Okay. So we need to head over this way. Love how the arc oh, fog threat is zero because we're now just bombing them whenever we get in range. Okay, so now we want to head over here. Excellent, that's us producing. Oh, okay, you're doing that for solar sail life. Fine. Uh, so we then need a one of these. Right, let's make sure we get it on the same alignment. Right, cool. So, unlike the other ones where we are bringing the resources in, producing these locally and then shipping them up, here we're actually going to be requesting the actual science. Uh, which will be fun. Right, does also mean I need to bring this back. There we go, put that back in. But we can bring this out like this. And run that up like so. Okay. We are then needing to put a picker. Take one of those out, and we'll just make it reach there. Excellent. And you're now on demand. So when we get some, we should have some flown in. I know that's going to need 600 before it flies. So that's fine. Now, what the plan is for this is I need a splitter, which I believe I've got one of. So we can put our splitter in. You're going to go in there. You're going to go in there to carry that on. And this is why I'm trying to produce a large amount Mineral of green science. Depleted. What we're then going to be doing is we will need... Uh, where are we? Production. Bring a few down. Uh, and we'll run the belt like that because like I said I don't think I need huge numbers of these and each one makes eight so that's kind of what I want so we put those there we can then feed these back in here like so 
so that that can then be distributing warpers everywhere. Cool. Right, we need power to come over. That's fine. And then we're going to need pickers. So you're going to go in. And you're just going to come back out the other side. Nice. Now, what I also want to do is I want to set up uh, just Mineral in there. Uh, a personal warper stash. So I don't need many of them. I just need some. Insufficient materials. Uh, and I'm missing iron ingots. Ah! Why is iron ingots Light always off. the trouble? Uh, okay, we've got some iron reserves over here we're using. That's fine. Oh, you're... Wow, you're... Hang on. You're set to supply and you're full. Light mode. We'll set to local demand remote supply and you're full. Okay. Okay. Apparently we're full of iron, which I did not expect. Insufficient materials. But I mean, I can't argue with what's going on there. Okay, so we'll come back down here. We might need to look at our hydrogen production, which I did not expect to have to do today. I was really hoping this was going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, right, you are going to be Replication there. Complete. Hang on, no. Give you the drones. There we go. Uh, and I need you to be doing warpers. And I just need you to provide to the Icarus. Uh, and then... Can I ask you to do it from here? No, when let me do it from here, I can't drag it across. Ah, but I can select it from here. Okay, uh, warpers please. And provide... Yeah, I don't need many. 50 should be fine. <laughs> okay. So that's now, in theory, off and underway. Mineral depleted. Okay. I want to go back and I want to see how our production is getting on with that because I know we're now producing green but if we're getting shy of um, hydrogen that is going to be a concern because we're going to need to sort that out now the fastest way I can think to do that is going to be to um, Finish trying to encircle the gas giant we've got around Baycrux 4 or uh, Baycrux 3. Baycrux 3 is the, the gas giant. So I think we could, I think there's a few more spots we could do there which will help with some hydrogen production. There we go, back down. Right, okay. Where are we? Where's our. Uh, you're making the chips. Love how close that is in the sky, just like that. Where are... That's the strange matter. Which makes me think it's somewhere over this way, but I didn't think it was as far this way as it apparently is. Oh, no, there they are. There's the science ones. Okay. So they're... Working away. It does look like it's just more of them we need to get made because they're all full. Okay. So, what do we need to make more of these? We need. Insufficient materials. Yes, I know. We need glass, computer chips, and uh, the rings. Okay. All right. Well, that's fine then. Let's, because I know we've got a lot of all of that on Baycrux 4. Head over there to Light. ramp that up. Mode. And then, yeah, like I said, we might need to sort out some more of the orbital platforms, which 
Yeah, I wasn't expecting. I was really hoping we'd be burning through... Well, I suppose we're going to start burning through the diamond now. If we're burning through that diamond, that means we're going to be using a lot of the energetic graphite. Which is good. Because if we come back over to Baycrux 4, we have got a chain where we're using coal to make energetic graphite but we've also got an oil setup that we're using to make hydrogen and energetic energetic graphite so if we turn off the coal one we're gonna hopefully be able to get through our hydrogen setup yeah this bit right how how is that graphite going yeah see that graphite is stuffed which means and this is what I'm thinking. I need to come over here and I need to force us to use that graphite a lot more than anything else. So we need to ignore outputting coal, that's fine. We need to turn off the chain we've got over here from the coal production. Which will give us more coal for the proliferators, which is good. Yeah, this one. No, I don't want you to do anything anymore that's what I want you to do thank you very much and I'm hoping these guys are going to come all the way over what are you doing no I don't want you on supply either Because I basically want all of that to come from the oil setup. Right, okay. Either way, we need to get some more of the... I'm just going to throw that in there because I just don't want to be carrying it anymore. But we need to get up some more of our science facilities. So, I need to grab this. Mineral sit and completed. grab some. Ooh, I really don't like hearing that. Insufficient right. materials. Okay, and then I need more iron plates. There we go. Insufficient materials. Then I'm out of glass again. Uh, right, where did the glass one go? I mean, that seems like that should do fairly well for me. Right, okay. That hydrogen is gone, but... Yeah, that fuel isn't being used up. Okay, that almost feels like we need to find a way to use that fuel up. That energy hook graphite's coming over here to be used yet to be used because you're being used for that plastic that's fine so that's closed loop I'm not worried about that that hydrogen is not full that storage tank is full okay but the spare is coming in here and you're set to supply all right uh, I see though you're oil feeding? No, the oil's being fed full. So you are working at full spat. Okay, alright. That's fine. I'm just trying to work out with the, some of these chains if there is something we can do to improve not necessarily their efficiency, but their throughput. Because having this one over here choked is a problem. Because we need... There we go. Yeah, that carbon's going, which is letting the hydrogen flow that's what we need to be seeing. Yeah, that's absolutely what we needed to be seeing. Okay. Uh, where I'm going to be looking at loaders. Oh, good. I've got a load of motors on me. Insufficient materials. Right, so I've got to wait for those to get made. Oh, I'm making the motors. Okay, that's fine. Right, that's solar sail life. Extended, excellent. Right, I also want, now we've got the green science in theory on the go. 
There we go, value efficiency. I want that. That requires white. Okay. Right, so... Oh, you're... You're doing that. Okay, fine. So, let's start heading back to Baycrux 1. Because then we can get more of these science buildings down. We should increase our production of green. Which will allow us to make the warpers, which is good. And then we're going to be able to go and have a look, hopefully, at a new world. I or a new system. I was hoping to do that this episode, but I'm feeling... Like that's going to be the beginning of next episode now, looking at how this is behaving. So, let's come down here. And... Bonk. Right, okay. There we go. There's our green science under production. Right. So then... Whoop. No, not there, thank you. Go. Right, that should massively help with production. <laughs> but it's, oh, it is actually filling it all. Okay, even the guys at the top have. Okay, so I maybe didn't need those faster input ones. Am I going to need those faster output ones? It doesn't look it. They look like they're all keeping up. Okay. I am pleasantly surprised at that. Very pleasantly surprised at that. Those guys are looking pretty full as well. You know, other than these bits over here, which are you're now shy on... Yeah, strange matter. I expected that, but that's because we appear to have a hydrogen problem. Okay. Okay, I don't know that I'm going to need to do much more on that. Like, I could make a second row of these on the other side. I don't know at the moment until we sort of hydrogen that we'd be able to keep up with demand is the uh, the concern I've got there. But I mean that is definitely throwing more out and it's not getting stuck. Okay. Let's go over to Baycrux 2. And this should mean that hopefully we will have some warpers under production when we get over here. Which is going to be fun. Right, let's head over. Okay, right, come on. And then... Yeah, we can have a look. Now, I have already tagged the system. I think I did it in a previous episode, but we'll have a look before we jump where we're going to be trying to make a grab for some sulfuric... Uh, acid worlds. Right, okay. Ooh, no, I didn't want that. I wanted that. Right, where are we heading? We want to head in that direction. Okay. Flight mode. So this, here we go. Oh, oh, I see them being made. Wow, that line is stuffed. And we've already got... Okay, hundred and something warpers. Good. And there's those guys delivering mine to me. Nice. Ah, oh, and you're holding 50. Oh, this. This is going to be good. Yeah, I only wanted a few grabbed in there. I didn't want... I wanted the majority of them to make it in here, but that's... That's excellent. Okay, so... Slightly shorter episode, I think. Only by a minute or so. But this is where we're going to move on. And I'm going to move into the next episode. Right, you are not producing anywhere near enough purple, are you? Yeah, you've got everything you need. You're all stuffed. 
Let's up our purple production because, you know, we are carrying stuff. There we go. May as well, eh? Right. Feed you guys over here. And give you a feed. Give you an out. Uh, and then we need this one over here. Again. Oh, no. We'll give you a Mark II so you can do it faster. Do that to power everything. Uh, and copy, paste. There we go. Right, that should start helping with the production of purple so we can get that going faster as well. So, uh, I'm going to wrap up here and say, as usual, likes, comments, subscriptions, they'll help the channel grow, they'll help get it out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Thank you very much to my pay, uh, to my YouTube channel members, your support is very much appreciated, and please don't forget that as a supporter you do gain access to the save files for any of the open world games I'm currently playing. Comment on this, I reworked the Dyson Sphere ones uh, this week because they didn't seem to be working, so if you are having a look at those, do let me know if you can get to the current save, um, otherwise I'm going to have to re-look and try and figure out what's going on with it because, yeah, Google's being weird on that, on the drives. Um, but yeah, you do gain access to the save files, which will include the blueprints for both this and Satisfactory, now that that's up and going. Uh, and channel members do also gain early access to the videos. So yeah, if you want to see it early, you don't want to wait for the drip feed, you can be a channel member, it starts at 99p, uh, and you can get the videos early. Um, but other than that, thank you all very much for joining me today. And next time, we're going to warp.